And you ever had somebody say something so stupid to you on Facebook, you just had to go investigate the profile just a little bit? <laughs> like, I went to the man's profile. He said he was studying to be an RN. I said, huh, you already a RN, a retarded <laughs> And shout out to everybody in here right now. Shout out to everybody who got a smartphone with a cracked screen. Mm-hmm. Talking about you waiting for your upgrade. <laughs> But your shit ain't till two years later. So every time you get a text message, you getting glass shards in your finger and shit. Girl talking about, why I take you so long to text back? Cause it hurts, bitch. <laughs> And they got this stupid app now, and it's called Snapchat. I don't know if y'all have heard of this. That is the dumbest app I have ever heard of. It's an app that allows you to take a picture and send it to somebody, and it disappears within a matter of seconds. It's kind of like this, ladies. I sent you a picture of my dick. No, I didn't. I had a chick, right, and she was looking sexy, man. She had on a thigh-high stocking, she had her breast all out, and she was looking amazing. And she sent me this damn picture, but it disappeared. I was like... <laughs> I texted her back mad as hell, like, what the hell did you send me this for? I can't jerk off in five seconds, what the hell? You find somebody that can jerk off in five seconds, they need to be put in the Guinness Book of World Records and they need to run for the presidency next term because they can get done fast. That's all I'm saying. But not me. Not a punk, I'm a survivor, man. Give y'all some background. You know me, I used to work at Golden Corral. Woo, Woo my ass. That place is terrible. As soon as you walk in, it smells like diabetes, don't it? You know what's bad when the only good thing you can say about your establishment is, uh, we got a chocolate fountain. That's the best thing about it. I seen a put a steak in there. And he was just turning it like a rotisserie chicken, just. I said, your fat ass gonna die, man. Now I used to work in the back washing the plates, the knives, and the forks with my white friend, James. Now, there was an old black dude named Fred. He used to wash the pots and the pans. Now, Chris Rock said it the best about old black men. He said it the best. He said, <clears> old <throat> black men are the most racist people in the world. Who the f are you? Who the f are you? Who the f are you? To talk about... fight you. They just shoot you. <sighs> so, they decided to send rolls to the back, right? I thought it'd be funny to pick up a roll and throw it at Fred. Because I like messing with people. I picked up the roll, I threw it at Fred, it hit him, hit his water, the water splashed him in his face. <laughs> but he thought that James threw the roll. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, right? So in the back of Golden Corral, I kid you not, he had a civil rights flashback right there. <laughs> and it's like he turned back into a slave. As soon as it happened, man, he said, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you throw another roll, and I's gonna you up. Now, New York, I had a decision to make. <laughs> but I ain't no punk, I'm a survivor, so I was like, yeah, throw another roll. <laughs> and I was like, wait in the water. Wait in the water, whoa, wait in the water. Me and Fred gonna stick together. Cause I ain't a punk. Hell yeah.